Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode I'm gonna have a look at a filament from the MakerBox samples. It is called Advanced Matte PLA from Matte Forts. So let's have a look after the intro. So in this episode of MakerBox Mondays I'm gonna try to get a series out with this name and I don't promise I will have a MakerBox sample every Monday but most Mondays and I will try to release those videos but in this video I'm gonna have a look at a PLA from Matterforts called Advanced Matte PLA and this is a PLA that is with a very nice matte finish to it and it printed out excellent for me. In my case I printed out a temperature tower I found out that 205 degrees was working quite well for me. At 290 the next step it started to clog up and 295 it was working okay but I settled down at 205 degrees with this filament. I printed out my maker coin and that came out absolutely awesome and you can see the matte finish. It's a very nice finish to it and it prints out without any issues. I was using my normal PLA settings on the Prusa MK3 printer and the maker coin came out excellent and um, it actually has pretty good layer adhesion. I love this matte finish and this gray dark gray color is, is working quite well. I also printed out this test print and here the overhang test came out excellent and the bridging here worked quite well and everything in this test print just came out pretty good. There was no issues whatsoever in this print and the bottom layer is, is excellent and very shiny but uh, the matte finish is, is very nice looking on the on this filament and I was quite happy with this dark grey color. I then printed out the Omnum by Sparky Face 5 or, or Tessa and I absolutely love this model and I print those without any infill and I made a mistake when I was removing the model from the bed. The, the bed was still quite hot and the model was pretty much stuck on the bed and I pulled on the model and just cracked it open. This was not any fault of the filament. This was totally my, my fault. Uh, but other than that, the model came out great and there were no, no printing issues or any issues to complain. And the matte finish on the back here is absolutely beautiful. And this filament was working really well on my Prusa MK3 printer. So as you can see, there's very good surface finish and it's difficult to see the layer lines even though this is printed at 0.2 millimeter layer heights so it fuses well together and here on the top it's of course different but on the sides it's very good and then printed out the Otis model by Garrett at Chaos Cortec and this model is an addition to my Megabox test prints and this is also printed out with zero info. This print came out excellent and there was absolutely no issues. And this print has very sharp corners on the tops here and there was no issues with it. It just came out excellent and I was really happy with this filament. It printed out great as you can see the, those models. So that was my quick look at the advanced matte PLA from Matte Forts. I really like this filament and the print came out excellent. It was a very smooth finish and the matte look was very good and the dark grey color is excellent and it's very easy to print with. Just the normal PLA settings at 205 degrees on the hot end and nothing special otherwise configured in the slicer. So this was really easy filament to work with and I would give this filament a go. I hope you like this format of the MakerBox Mondays. I'm gonna do one video for each filament instead of two filaments per video. And just to make the videos a little bit shorter and have it scheduled more regularly on, on Mondays. So for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.